add to your faith for this very reason in 2 Peter 1 verses 5 through 7. Make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance and to perseverance godliness and to godliness mutual affection and to mutual affection love. God has given us all we need to live like Jesus, but now we must actually use those gifts, and that means work. And I know we don't like work or like to hear the word work. (laughs) I think it's one of those (laughs) four-letter words that we don't like, that we cannot get comfortable with before (laughs) we have received God's gift of grace. We lack both the ability and the desire to live in Jesus' glory and goodness. As the scripture continues, as Christians, we understand that we are right now fully equipped to lead the life to which God has called us. Since we are equipped, we must use those abilities towards personal effort. We need to strive to add Christ's goodness and other powerful qualities to our lived out faith. My hope is to remind us that we're not missing anything that we need to lead the good and godly lives that we're called to, that we must work and then add to our faith the goodness and qualities of Jesus. This requires effort, unlike eternal salvation, which is not based on our work. So, Father, help us to do all that you called us to do beyond having salvation to do the things that you've created us to do, to have the impact and the influence as we continue to accept and honor and respect and do our purpose and go where we're called to be. In Jesus' name, amen.